Hey guys, welcome back to Kim Folk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. My name is Shane. Uh, we were asked if we would do an update video in the muscadine, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to do a muscadine update video. All right, before we get started, I just want to talk about our first five rows. They are uh, two years older than the rest, so they are going to have a lot more growth and a lot more grapes than those guys over there. So. I'll talk about today the five varieties that we have out here, my favorite, my least favorite, uh, and how they're doing. We're going to first start with my absolute favorite muscadine that we, uh, that we have in our vineyard, uh, and that's the Isons variety. I absolutely love the Isons variety. They put on tons of grapes every single year the growth is just ridiculous you can see on this row right here this row is really looking good this is a row of our icing i'll show you how the grapes are doing they're just loading up like crazy they just have grapes all the way down the vine as you can see they are just looking really really good I'm super happy with the Isons every single year. You, you cannot go wrong buying Isons variety. Super, super happy with the Isons variety. You just can't go wrong. They always put on just huge clusters of uh, muscadines. They're still in the green stage right now. We still have a lot of growing to do, but this row is looking absolutely fantastic. Look at that, they're just popping out the top. <laughs> Here's a great example. Look at that, all the way. Just looking really, really good. Love the icing. They are my absolute favorite, and I, <laughs> I joke around and say a lot. If I had it to do over, I would plant one muscadine variety. <laughs> and I would have done this whole thing in icing if I had it to do over. But variety is the spice of life. People, when they come out to our you pick, uh, are going to want some different grapes. So we mix things up a little bit. And uh, we planted some Supreme. And the Supreme are doing really good too. They are my second favorite grape. They are going crazy. This is a row of our Supreme. Uh, I was going to say that's a row too, but... That's a row of our Supreme. I have an icing in the middle and I have another row of Supreme here, another row of Supreme there. I, act, I actually put the row of icing in the middle because it's a self fertile and it'll help pollinate the ones beside it. And this row of Supreme is really looking good as well. Just loaded. Just loaded with grapes, lots and lots of grapes, really looking good. I know it's kind of hard to tell, there's a lot of greenery in the way, but really looking good. And as you can tell, I'm trying to dodge going out there in that sun. It's the middle of the day here in Georgia. The sun is right there, almost straight above me, and it is hot. So I'm trying to stay here in the shade for right now. But the Supremes are looking good, and we have a lot of Supreme. I'm going to show you, that's an older Supreme, the first five rows, and I have a bunch of Supreme uh, that I planted a couple years later. I'll show you how they're doing in a minute. But the Supreme are my second favorite uh, grape. Check this one out. They're just, my gosh, they're just doing great. They're just loaded, loaded, loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded with grapes. Just everywhere, everywhere you look, it's just grapes all the way, all the way to the end. What's nice about you guys watching this video <laughs> is that if you come out to my you pick in September, you'll have a heads up on <laughs> where the best grapes are. As you come in the first five rows to the right, remember that. That'll be your best rows. <laughs> the rest have lots of grapes, but these first five rows are slap loaded. But I love the Supreme. They turn out to be a huge grape. Um, Really, really big, nice eating grape. Just a meaty, big ping pong ball type size grape. They're just awesome. Uh, but they're my second favorite grape. The Isons, I like them uh, because we make a lot of wine. They're a really good wine grape. If you want to make some wines, they make a really uh, 
dark red uh, wine that's really delicious. <laughs> I love it. Uh, they really, like I say again, they put on really, really heavy. I love the ice and grape. Number two is uh, the Supreme. Next, we're going to talk about our Black Beauty. Now, these Black Beauty Muscadines, and this is all opinion now, uh, and what I've seen over the last seven or eight years of growing grapes, because we have another vineyard over there. Uh, but the last seven or eight years of me growing grapes, this is just my opinion. This is probably my least favorite of the muscadines that we grow. I honestly, <laughs> if it wasn't so much work, I'd pull them out. I would actually pull them out and get rid of them. I don't like them. Uh, they don't put on hardly... I don't want to say half the grapes is the Isons in the Supreme, but they don't put on as many grapes as I would like for them to put on. They just, uh, last year they put on pretty heavy, but they, 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 they seem like they're real late at getting going. Uh, and, they, and they don't ripen all at the same time, which some people might think that's a bonus if you're doing it for your little uh, personal uh, vineyard. That might be great so you can have grapes for a longer extended season. But here at a U pick, I want them to produce and I want them to be ready to sell basically all at the same time. And that was my fault not doing more research on the Black Beauty. But they're good tasting grape. They're really good tasting grape. I like them, uh, but they're probably my least favorite in the vineyard. But they're still doing pretty good, just not putting on quite as many grapes as I'd like. And we're underneath the grapes. You can see how the clusters are not quite as big. They're just, uh, they're just not as heavy trying to show you guys there's some grapes in here but just nothing like the uh supreme and the ice and they're up there but they'll do okay they'll sell <laughs> that's what we want they're good grapes i like them but like i say they're my least favorite all right now uh, those were the first five rows now we're going to get to the rest uh, that we planted two years later this is a black beauty i got uh one here one here uh, I, I'm not sure if those are the only two rows I have. I can't remember. I got to start putting my labels on. I'm starting to forget where my rows are. But you can see this is a three-year-old plant. Should have some grapes on it. I see two. I only see two <laughs> on this whole plant. There's one here on this one. A couple there. They just, they're just really slow growing. No grapes. Here's a couple little clusters here. A little cluster there. They just really don't excite me all that much. Now, towards the pig pen, for you guys that are coming to our U pick, I have to give you another tip. Towards the pig pen, better grapes up there than down here for the fact I think they're getting the extra fertilizer from the pigs. <laughs> There's a lot more grapes on the farther end of the vineyard. Now, the grapes are really doing well this year. Uh, I've already done one summer pruning, uh, real about two foot off the ground so I could cut grass. And that was just a few weeks, maybe two or three weeks ago, I'm thinking. But, but it, they're already back on the ground. I'll have to do it again before I cut grass. They're just growing so fast with all the fertilizer we put on and all the uh, watering we've been doing. Now, speaking of watering, now that the grapes are on, check this plant out. Now that the grapes are on, you want to water them heavy, 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 lots of water. You want to water them pretty steady all the time anyway, but lots of water now that the grapes are on so the plants don't drop them early. They'll drop them when they're green. If you guys uh, go out in the woods and you're seeing these little uh, green balls on the ground, <laughs> look up. You're probably seeing muscadines that are climbing up the trees. Uh, for the fact, those muscadines that are climbing all up in the trees and stuff are so big, they're just not getting the water. They need to hold them grapes uh, down here in Georgia anyway. We're not getting a lot of rain right now. So they seem to drop a lot of grapes really, really early uh, this time of year. So water your plants. We're watering ours basically every day. Now these were the only two Black Beauties I put in uh, a few years ago of the newer plants. And the rest were Ison, Supreme, Darlene, and Carlos. We have the Scumpernongs on the further end. So we'll talk about the Isons now. This is a third year Ison plant. And as you can see, the Isons never never lets me down they just they just got the grapes they just are loaded really looking good this is only a three-year-old plant for you guys that are new to muscadines uh, i've been talking to some folks that are just getting started the first year super aggravating growing your muscadines they uh 
are so slow growing, but once they hit that second and third year, it's on. I mean, look, the grapes are just loaded. They're just loaded. For a third year plant, this thing is absolutely rocking. Just loaded with grapes, I love it. And the plant next to it the same way. Just grapes everywhere, all the way down. And you can tell they're a little thinner because they're only three years old, but it's still putting on tons of grapes. Here's a little weaker plant, but still putting on some grapes ready to start turning. Nice, I love it. Now we have a lot, of, three or four rows of Isons in the middle of the vineyard right here to help cross pollinate all the others. The Supreme, uh, the Darlene, uh, the Black Beauties, they help cross pollinate. So we have one, two, so we have one, two, three, four. We have those four in the middle to cross pollinate with the Black Beauties and these Supreme that are coming up. Now here's a three year old Supreme that is just doing exactly what I want it to do. Putting on tons of grapes, really, really showing off. I don't know how well y'all can see them, but this plant is loaded. Now we're coming up on a uh, plant that I had to replant. This is a, a plant we had to replant this year and it's doing really well. I didn't get it straight up. It started bushing out on me. So I trimmed everything up and just started running one that way and run one this way. It will be fine. Not really caring how it looks. I want it to produce grapes in the next few years. So, so far it's doing pretty good. It's about, I don't want to say halfway, but it's almost halfway. This side's doing a little shabbier, but doing okay. All right, with the last few rows, this one, this one, and on down are all scumping on. Uh, we have Darlene, 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 Carlos, Carlos, Darlene, Darlene. These are self-fertile. The Carlos, they're self-fertile. So uh, they uh, air pollinate the plants that are on the other side, which are female. Now the Darlene are not doing as well as I would like them to on the third year. Uh, like I say again, I walked up there earlier and my phone died, it overheated. It is smoking hot out here. Uh, but up there at, towards the pig pen, we have tons of grapes. Uh, not as much down on this end because the hill, the, where the pigs are is sort of a hill and, and everything washes down the hill into the valley, which is about midway of the grapes and then washes all through the backyard. Uh, so that upper end seems to get <laughs> some extra fertilizer. Well, I thought I would come up here and show you that the Darlene are producing. You can see them in there, sort of, they're hit out. But they're in there, they're producing. And like I say, there's the pig pen and we're about midway right here where it sort of slopes and all the water sort of seems to run down through my backyard and goes back up this way. So it just seems like from about here up, you can see grapes over there. About from here up gets a lot more fertilizer and I think it's from our pigs. But the, but the Darlene, for a third year, they are really doing great. I'm, I'm super happy with them. I think they're doing pretty good. We have grapes all the way, all the way up through here. So I'm happy with that. You can see we had a little damage uh, from Japanese beetles this year. We did pretty good keeping them under control. Uh, they got a, some great, uh, some little leaves here and there, but nothing super bad. They're about gone now. All right, to finish this up, we're gonna talk about these two rows right here, the Carlos. I absolutely love these Carlos grapes. They put on tons of grapes. Uh, the downfall to Carlos grapes is they're really, really small grapes. Uh, but they make an awesome white wine. I mean, the white wine they make is probably my favorite. It's, they're just delicious. And like I said, when we open up the vineyard, these two rows right here, I'll probably probably be pointing everybody to that wants to make them some white wine uh, because they just they make a great great wine or jelly. If you want to make a jelly, they make an awesome jelly too. But uh, they're just small grapes. They produce a lot. To me, they're sort of the icing <laughs> of the Scumpernong. 
they just produce tons and tons of grapes every single year excellent heavy producer they they just grow they grow 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 i, I love them i can't say uh hardly anything bad about the carlos grape uh, except they're small they're good to eat they're still good but they're just small that's about it all right guys just a little update video the vineyard's doing pretty good I, I, it's not as going as good as i would like it to but that's usually the case for me anyway <laughs> every plant has not producing uh, i want to say maybe 60 percent that's my guess but other than that I, i'm happy it'll be enough to open up this year and try to get some revenue back from what all i've spent out here but thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video get out there and grow you some grapes if you'd like uh some good deals on some grapes check out my friends at ison's nursery they will help you out i would highly suggest planting in the uh, fall or winter right now oh my gosh it's just too hot too much maintenance fall winter while they're dormant it's the time to plant thanks again guys see you on the next video